motherhood. It's a situation that many of us find ourselves in. We carry and nurse and raise these many people putting so much of ourselves emotionally and physically into their well-being that we tend to forget about ourselves. We tend to lose ourselves. But sometimes motherhood allows us to find ourselves as well. I unexpectedly started my motherhood journey very early in my life, or should I say unexpected to me. This was not in my plan. I was not planning on becoming a teen mom. I was not planning on becoming that senior girl who got pregnant. In fact, I had straight A's. I still had perfect attendance when I graduated and I was a very type A personality. So this was the last thing that anyone would have expected of me, but here we are. I believe it was my path to have a firstborn daughter who would be this age during my Saturn return, which is a time for healing and opening your mind and opening your heart. I'm starting to heal in ways I didn't expect or even know that I needed. You know, I had always heard about how difficult motherhood is and how it's something very serious, but not very many people told me how much fun it would be or how much joy I'd find in being a mother. People had always told me how challenging or difficult each age was, but I find joy in watching my children grow up. I love watching them leave their old self and morph into the newest version of who they are. They go through so many changes in their life and it's just so fun to watch. I don't know, from making noises to babbling to full on expressions. It just opens my eyes to the future growth of their friendships or their hobbies and interests. I was prepared to parent a mini version of myself. You know, I know how to handle me. I have learned so much about the world from raising people who love and feel, think and react differently and still have the ability to love them unconditionally. I never considered myself to be an emotional individual, but it's ironic that I have a very sensitive and emotional child. I have learned to approach situations differently. I've learned to speak differently. I've learned to communicate in a way that's a lot softer. It's not that I'm changing who I am and my personality. It's that I'm adjusting so that I can be the mom that my kids need. Their wants and their needs shift as they get older. And it's so very important for us to stay in the loop without being annoying or hovering, but ask questions, see what it is that they're interested in, talk to their friends when they're over, just Get to know your children as individuals because that's exactly what they are. Growing up, my parents always said, we're your parents, we're not your friends, but I cannot tell you the amount of times that I wish my parents were there as my friend. You list out all the qualities of a friend. Why wouldn't I as a parent want to be that person for my child? I want my children to grow up trusting what we say, not in like a narcissistic way, like what I say goes. It's more of they can trust me to tell them the truth. I don't know if anyone's seen that movie now and then, but the mom very much sugarcoats what sex is and the daughter goes and talks to her friends about it and they're all laughing at her. That's what it is, is what my mom says. And then she's like, I'm starting to think that my mom doesn't know what she's talking about. And that's the last thing I want. I do not want my children to think that one, I'm being dishonest or lying to them about things. And then two, I don't want them to think that I'm out of the loop and that I have no idea what I'm talking about. So they need to go to someone else. I just don't want my children to go to their friends or other people who don't have their best interest at heart for advice. I want my children to know that we are always on their side, no matter what side of the fence they're on, if they're in the wrong or if they're in the right, I want them to know that we're gonna stand right there with them and support them through it all. We often think about our children's physical safety and we take so many measures and precautions of their physical safety, but what about their emotional safety? How do they feel talking about their emotions? How do they feel expressing their emotions? Sometimes my daughter tests me and she'll ask me questions to see if I'm going to lie. And I pass the test. I really just end up telling her the truth and she appreciates me for it because she knows that I'm gonna be upfront no matter how awkward or disgusting or weird it is. Regardless of the topic, she knows I'm gonna be honest with her. Being a young mom, I have learned balance. I used to think that I had to choose one or the other, to choose one or the other. I thought that I either had to choose to be a really great, involved, fantastic mom, or I could be the 20 something year old who's fabulous, loving life, being free. And then it's like, wait, why can't I be both? 
why is it that motherhood has this dark cloud over it and I can't wear the clothes I want to wear or the shoes that I want and it's all because I'm a mom no 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 my whole 20s I was a parent I was a mom in my 20s and I remember going out and just being like this is embarrassing like I'm a mom I should not be out but the other side of me was like you are 23 years old like <laughs> go to the club like go to the lounge enjoy yourself because when your kid has grown and you're in your 40s you definitely don't want to be in the club i can still enjoy my fashion i can still have my fun and be a conscious and loving mom i don't have to limit myself to one dimension i can be a well-rounded parent i thought my fulfillment and my life purpose would be discovered through a career but it's been discovered in my own home. I figured that being a mom would be a small portion of my life. Little did I know, parenthood and motherhood does not stop when your children leave the nest. I'm almost 30 years old and I still call my parents for advice and I still call them and discuss their opinions and I still value their opinions. I'm doing the work towards the path of being the parent that I wish I had or the one I needed. And none of this is against my parents. Of course, they just says many other parents did what they thought was right. I wouldn't be the person I am today without those situations, whether it was positive, negative, fun, boring, whatever, it was still my life. And those situations built up the character, built up the personality that I have today. I really used to think that Adults had all the answers, but especially moms. Moms had the answers for everything, no matter whose mom I asked. Like they would always have the answer for something. My stomach hurts or, oh, I got burned. Like moms just had the answers all the time. And I just assumed that moms knew everything. And now that I am a mom, I've realized that they don't. We have no idea what we're doing. We're learning day by day, literally and we're doing the best that we can with what we've got and i'm very grateful to be a mom in this time where i do have access to a ton of resources and i'm going to take advantage of that i am putting in the work towards the path of parenthood that i wish that i had it's not easy being the one to shift the mindset and change generations of traditions but I'm willing to do it. I have an idea of who I want to be as a mom and the idea of what kind of relationship I would like with my children. And I'm trying to get there. At the end of the day, I want to be the mom whose children choose to see them when they're adults. Not feeling obligated, not only during holidays and it's a chore. Like I want them to genuinely be excited to bring their families or their friends to our house and celebrate anything or to mourn something. Like, I wanna be the mom that is supportive and I wanna be the mom who is reliable. And I believe that connection starts now. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Shanice and I'll see you next time.